Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello ladies and gentlemen My name is Lula Tulkamariah You can call me Lulu I'm from the first semester of diplomatry In Blood Bank Technology Health Polytechnic Of the Ministry of Health Semarang Now, I'm looking forward to talking with you about Blood transfusion Before I start, I will explain the point that we will discuss 1. The definition of blood transfusion 2. Causes you need a blood transfusion 3. Various of blood types. Four, various types of blood transfusion, and five, risks and complications caused by blood transfusion. First of all, I will explain briefly what is a blood transfusion. A blood transfusion is a way of adding blood to your body after an illness or injury. If your body is missing one or more of the components that make up healthy blood, a transfusion can help supply what your body is missing. Depending on how much blood you need, a transfusion can take between 1 and 4 hours. Then, why would you need a blood transfusion? There are many reasons you might need to receive a blood transfusion. These are just a few of them. 1. You've had major surgery or a serious injury and you need to replace lost blood. 2. You've experienced bleeding in your digestive tract from an ulcer or other condition. 3. You have an illness like leukemia or kidney disease that causes anemia, not enough healthy red blood cells. 4. You've received cancer treatments like radiation or chemotherapy. And 5. You have blood disorder or severe like liver problems. Next, I will tell you about various of blood types. As you probably know, we all have a blood type. But, do you know what makes each type unique? Well, several blood group type systems are used to type your blood. ABO is the most important. Your ABO type is based on the presence or absence of two antigens, A and B, on the surface of red blood cells. There are four ABO type, A, B, AB, and O. Your blood type is also determined by resus status, resus plus or resus min, that leave us with eight possible blood types, A plus, A min, B plus, B min, AB plus, AB min, O plus, and O min. Each of these eight types is unique. Blood types determine who you can give blood to and receive your blood from. Which type of donation is best for you is determined by your blood type as well as patient need. The various of blood types is done. Next, I will tell you various types of blood transfusion. According to the American Red Cross, there are four common types of blood transfusion. 1. Red blood cell transfusion. A person may receive a red blood cell transfusion if they have experienced blood loss. If they have anemia such as iron deficiency anemia or if they have a blood disorder. 2. Platelet transfusion. A platelet transfusion can help those who have lower platelet cones such as from chemotherapy or a platelet disorder. 3. Plasma transfusion. Plasma contains proteins important for health. A person may receive a plasma transfusion if they have experienced severe burns, infections, or liver failure. And last, whole blood transfusion. A person may receive a whole blood transfusion if they have experienced a severe traumatic hemorrhage and require red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelet. And then, what the risks and complications caused by blood transfusion? In general, blood transfusion are considered safe, but there are risks. Sometimes, complications show up immediately or they take some time. There are just a few of them. 
first fever. It's usually not considered serious if you get a fever one to six hours after your transfusion. But if you also feel nauseous or have chest pain, it could be something more serious. See your doctor right away. Second, allergic reactions. It's possible to experience an allergic reaction to the blood you receive. Even if it's the correct blood type, if this happens, you'll likely feel itchy and develop hives. If you have an allergic reaction, it's likely to happen during the transfusion or very shortly after. Third, acute immune hemolytic reaction. This complication is rare, but it's a medical emergency. It happens if your body attacks the red blood cells in the blood you've received. This normally takes the place during or right after your transfusion. And you'll experience symptoms like fever, chills, nausea, or pain in your chest or lower back. Your urine might also come out dark. Next, delay hemolytic reaction. This is similar to an acute immune hemolytic reaction, but it happens more gradually. And last, anaphylactic reaction. This happens within minutes of starting a transfusion and may be life-threatening. You may experience swelling of the face and throat, shortness of breath and low blood pressure. Blood transfusion's explanation is complete. That's all I have time for. Thank you for listening. If you have any question, just write on comment box. Goodbye!